Hey guys, I am here with Julise. She is a Shih Tzu and we are going to change her hairstyle on the face today. Her people brought me in a photo similar to this and I explained to them that the cheeks are going to be shaved and the chin is going to be very, very short, but we should be able to do something similar. Uh, one difference, you'll notice that the hair on top of the nose is a wee bit shorter. So we're going to have to grow that out just a hair to get this final look in about a month. So we're going to get started and see how she comes out. So I'm going to start by shaving off the chin hair. This is nice because it'll be a very clean haircut. At home, she won't be dripping water or getting food in her mustache, which will be nice for her people. So I shave that against the grain with a five. So now she has a Fu Manchu, which is kind of cute. That would be cute on a boy dog, wouldn't it? All right. So to trim the cheeks, I'm going to stay behind the corner of the eye a good little bit. And I'm going to use a four blade against the grain. Good girl. Normally this face style looks good with a short body and fuller legs. Because she's going to keep a fuller body, it um, may look a little out of balance. So they might want to consider the short body and the really full legs going forward. this together under here. This is just to get the shape started. Right. I'll go back and tighten all that up as needed. Take the hair right on the nose itself where it falls over and ruins the button look on her nose. Normally, I like to clean up this entire area here to show off the black. But on this particular face, I think it would be overdone. And now, comb this hair out to the sides. I'm gonna start creating my oval mustache. That's a good girl. She's such a sweetheart, isn't she? Good girl.
Sometimes I wonder if pet owners can tell from the picture just how short this face really is. It is really a drastic change. Isn't she the cutest thing? So to achieve this look, I must comb this hair up. I'm going to use my thinning shears up here to create the top part of the oval. Careful not to catch the eyelashes. These are good girl jeans. It's a very good girl. I don't want this to look too mustachy, so I'm combing those pieces back forward. And go straight across. I go back and forth between my straights and my thinning shears. There are people out there that do a much better job at this face than I do. That do seminars and teaching on it. But it is fun to play with. So now I'm going to pull these eyelashes up out of the way so I don't lose them. And get it tighter back here. I wait to do this till I have the mustache done. So that I can see exactly what I'm doing.
You are just the best little girl. All right, I think we have it. Thank you for watching.